morning again, friends of CTV SA. It's again your host, Tepo Siakamela, and I'm bringing you another episode of African Brands, a show that profiles some of the most profound African brands. We profile them and we let you know about everything that is happening around the industries in South Africa. So today I got Simpiwe Mavoga of Fast Cab. So everything today, we are doing it on the fast lane. How are you, my brother? I'm very good to know you, too. I'm fine, man. I, 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 I'm happy to have you here. So, you know, I like to start with basic questions. Yeah. I mean, we out as a car, see, and then you are a South African. Yeah. So, this month is Heritage Day. It's Heritage Month. Yeah. Now, the first basic question maybe that I might ask you, what is your favorite South African dish? Uh, my favorite South African dish, the putu damas. The putu damas. Spring it with a little sugar, we're good. Wow. Yeah. So, did you grow up eating that? Yeah, basically, you know how every family is. We always have putu damas or putu nimisi. But growing up and also being part of chef, you know, I'm an oldest chef in a way. Yeah. I I experiment and experience a different foods around. But I found love with putu namas. Wow, that's wonderful, man. Yeah. So now, the first thing that we want to know about is is the simple of yeah. So, what are you about? I mean, what do you stand for? Oh well, me even can ask anybody. I stand for black excellence. I stand for actually unity, and I stand for thriving and making a difference. If it's not in my life first, it has to also be in someone else's life because once I do good to somebody else, it also will be good to me, you know, so yeah. Wow, so now you are an entrepreneur, you understand that, yes. and as an entrepreneur, what drives you, I mean, what makes you to wake up in the morning and, and push and want to achieve whatever you want to achieve in, in, in your life? It's endless possibilities. Um, growing up, you know, most of the time we're told that we can't or we're not able because of um, we're not privileged enough, you know. So I took it upon myself that, you know what, from now going forward, there is nothing that can stop me, there is nothing that I can't do, whether it was my mind or whether it was my hands. But once I put my mind into something, then I'm going for it. Wow. And again, well, when did you start to decide? When, when was the first time you decided that you want to be an entrepreneur? You are going, you are not going to do CVs and be employed and then you are taking this path because we all know that entrepreneurship is not an easy path yeah. and sometimes such things we should not treat them like a fashion like I'm doing it because everybody else is doing it so when did you decide that you want to be an entrepreneur and what shaped you to, to, to that point that where you said I want to go this path of entrepreneurship um, funny enough is I remember when I decided, when I made it a point that this is what I want. It was still in grade 11 at Maswani Sunday Secondary School in Forest Yes. Um, we were outside with uh, with the teacher and so the whole class, I think there was two classes there. And the teacher went around asking everybody, so after my trip, what do you want to do? What's your career plans, you know? And I was sitting looking at the mountain when you um, when you're facing uh, the Hazelberg. Yes. So I was like, I had it. I had, I still have that dream, that vision that I want a mall there, you know, that can connect. Because in East Rand, yeah, we do have malls, but I wanted something big, something with um, with, with resorts inside, you know, something Whoa. whereby tourists can come and actually not say I'm coming to, you know, at, at a mall, but there's going to come of all, not just like Gold City, but a real carnival, you know, big Whoa. carnival. So I was sitting thinking, and the teacher would like to me, okay, Cindy, what do you want to be? And I said, um, me, man, I want to be a millionaire. So I was like, how? How can you do that? You know? I'm like, um, I don't have a plan to how do I do that. But knowing that I am business minded, anything that has to do with money and that has a positive change in my life, that's, that's the route I'm taking. Mm -hmm. And obviously, you know, growing up, I had a, I had a, I had a daughter at the age of 22. I had to start working. And me being me, Obviously, the, the, the money that you get paid, it's restricted and it has built and, and so forth. And probably by the 10th day or the 9th day after you get paid, you, you broke, you know. So it's frustrating. It always frustrated me, you know. So I was like, you know what, I have to expand. And I kept on working, kept on working, 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 you know. And by the time I decided that, you know what, I'm done with working. I'm going to face the struggles. I'm going to face the fire. 
Wow. I just, I just up and left. I even told my manager, I was like, you know what? I'm gone. Wow. I'm facing, now I'm going to do something about my dreams. Now you must just hold your breath because later on, I'm going to challenge you again about that dream of your mall that is a result inside. Yeah. But for now, I just want to know about First Care. Okay. I understand First Care is the name of both the company and the product. Yes. Now, you also have partners. Tell us about your partners. All right. uh, their names maybe for start yeah. and how you guys match. Uh, okay, First Care. Yeah? Firstly, First Care is an exhaling company. Basically, we provide a platform for um, users, which are now the, the riders, mm -hmm. to connect with um, the drivers. Okay. And yeah, you tell us about the product later. Okay. Right now, I just want to know about your partners. All right, my partners um, basically is Fule and there's Aspers. Okay. Those, those are the brainchilds of First Care. Okay. So the thing is, how we met is through um, social network. Because I am probably in, I don't know how many groups, I don't know how many groups that I am in, that where basically I digitally see market some of the products that I sell personally, you know. So I was out there busy doing my networking between the two AMs. I, um, I get a WhatsApp, you know, from from Bully and like we talk, he's asking me, so what do I do? I told him what I do. He told me about first care. From right there, that instance, I knew that, okay, this has life and this is basically where I want to be. I want to be there in 10, 15 years time when first care is now part of the economy, you know, one big old player in the economy sector, you know. Yes. So, all right, we spoke that night, probably stayed like two weeks without not talking and in that two weeks on my end, I was still not verifying to what can I bring on the table to the guys that can make a difference, you know. So after that two weeks, I told Bule like, okay, Bule, I want to go in, man. Anyhow, anyway, I want to go in. And bear in mind that me and these people we hadn't met at that time, you know. So yeah, Bule was like, no, we're good. I just have to talk to my partner because I'm not only like the only decision maker. I was like, fine. Wow. And they were like, no, I have a proposal. I'm like thinking to myself, now I have to start it down, jot down a document. I my proposal, my proposal is gonna be now the work that I bring in, you know. Mm -hmm. So I managed to get um, one of uh, the persons gonna be supplying first care. Yeah, company yeah before we yeah. speak about your role, you know that there are two things that I pick up yeah. that are very important from what you're saying. Uh, the first is the power of social media yeah. in, in getting people together and yeah. putting yourself or the products out there. And that entrepreneurial instinct that you have, when you saw a good product, you said, this is what this is what I want to do. So now, you can also tell us maybe your part in well, what, what are you doing now with First Care? Yeah. Yeah. Basically, right now, I am hands-on with putting it out there, basically getting it out there to the people, you know? Because mm -hmm. right now, it's active at Pretoria, but plus minus 25 drivers that are active there. But now, I'm driving it now here in Johannesburg. Because my two partners are based in Victoria, you know, and I'm here, so I'm thinking, you know what, let me push Johannesburg as well, you know. So, um, in those terms, what I do is I'm sourcing out invest investments for the company, okay. and I'm also sourcing out. Um, well, now you are speaking about, about big things. I think we we'll, we'll just have to go to yeah. the break and come back and speak about First Care. Fantastic. More about First Care when we come back. This episode was proudly sponsored by the prestigious Profound Conference Center. We are a centrally located venue in Johannesburg that caters for your trainings, workshops, parties, and general events. Contact us on 011-440-7501 or info at profoundcenter.co.za. Follow us on social media on Profound Conference Center. Thanks. We are back again with Simpiwe Mavoga of Fast Care. So now, Simpiwe, now we just want to understand the product now behind first care you, you told us earlier on about the company yeah. but now we want to understand the product what is first care yeah basically as i said first care is an is um is an exhaling uh platform right it's an exhaling system that um, is basically built to connect the drivers and the riders but now the nice thing about us is that we are so so is it it's an application yeah, it's, an, it's, it's, an, it's an application that you can download on your android or your iphone it's available right now on the play store okay. and it's also available for drivers out there who probably have the hatchbacks because right now with the two major players in the game they um it's more of sedans we're mm -hmm. taking hatchbacks you know okay. and another advantage that we have is that we also include a delivery system whereby now for you 
as any for you as as, 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 as as a writer. You can simply tap and write. Basically tap request for a van. Depending on how, how big is your goods that you're taking, you know? If it's a fridge, probably a bed, you choose if you want a van or you want an H one hundred, you know? And then it comes. And from we, we have a set fee of hundred and fifty man. And that set fee meaning from base to you is hundred and fifty. And then we give you five uh, five five kilometers for free. Then after five kilometers, that's when we're gonna be charging you twelve rand per, per kilometer. Okay. So we're making life easy for people not to stop going to Abu Makilo and you know and yes. asking around for vans and so yes. forth. Yeah. So you have said so many things uh, right now. So just to summarize on what you have already said. So maybe one or two things that 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 set you apart. I mean that that, yeah. that set your product apart. Yeah. From what you've said, maybe if you have just to summarize it, yeah. what would you say are those two things? It's the story writer option that we have that we're currently working um, with Vitz in signing, and it's also the delivery um, option that we have right now in the system. Plus, then with the rates, we cheaper. Wow! And then now, what 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 advantage do you bring for drivers or for? Yes, that's yeah, what I want question. to understand. So, as I told you, I'm all about black empowerment, black excellence, right? Yes. Um, we have decided that we're going to take 20% out of all the profits that you make on a daily basis, you know? And the driver, we equip you with 80%. Because we know that you have a family to feed, we have um, the gas to pour, you know? And you have a life to live, and we have to make money because the hard work at the end of the day is all on you. You get requested to the one driving the whole day around, you know? So that's one thing that I, that's like the most biggest advantage about having to use fast care or rather having to register with us um, as a driver or as a, as a driver partner if you have your own car to actually put in. So, and the nice thing is that we take vehicles, hatchbacks, we take them from 2013 going up and that's we, yeah, and the case has to be less than 100, then we're good. Now, considering the market now, because I'm sure as a business you have, you have done your market research yeah. and I know that in this industry you have you do have competitors and all yes. that. Now do you see the market being ready for such a thing? Yes, basically yes. Because now when you look is that we are we all want to economize. So that's what we're driving behind. We want to drive efficiency and we want to drive economic efficiency to everybody, you know? So we actually are economizing. So we want you not to even feel a, a, a dent in your pocket when you're going from Jersey to Forslo or from Jersey to Soweto, you know? So, yeah. Okay. So uh, what, what, what is the vision for Fast Cap? Maybe in five years' time, where, where would you guys want to see yourself? How far do you want oh. to take Fast Cap? First Cap is, First Cap is an empire. And so for and foremost, it's an empire. So in five years' time, we want to, we want to uh, probably if not half of our population using this now, you know, so we want everybody buying five years time. They must be clicking on fast cap. Everybody from young, old to working as as another thing. We want to be including students in this. We have a student rider option. That's why I said earlier on, um, that we're working with the feds with the student rider option. Basically, now we, we basically say to students, if you're in varsity uh, or rather now since it's feds, now we'll put it at this in campus. Then in and out campus, you have 15 kilometer radius, so you're gonna have a coupon. The coupon is gonna be simply like you buying a time. So uh, we make it convenient for in our students to go to the practicals, to go to the library, to go do whatever the school related, you know. And we want all the other varsities to also come join and actually work with us. So, so your product is making a difference somehow. Basically. Which I think is very important. Yes. In whatever vision that we have, yes. we must be touching and changing the world somehow. Thank you. Yes. So now, uh, your company, I, I, are you already thinking about diversifying or maybe do you, are, are you sticking to this one product? Um, right now, it's this product first can because once we get it out there and once it start now being recognize and being a major competitor now with to other competitors that we have then i think that's when we're going to be now introducing other things because we also want to introduce korea okay. you know so that's still on a working process but now we just on the main focus right now just getting and establishing fast cap out there as a brand and as an app that everybody must get used to to and use on a daily basis right. so Right now, first cap is already available. Yeah, uh, anybody can down, uh, download it right now. Yes. 
Wow, the, that, that is uh, wonderful. So now, the another thing that I want to understand, maybe about you and your partners, yeah. your, your 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 working relationship. Yeah. So, who plays what role? Like, like who made first care? Like, okay, Ule and as, as I said earlier, they're the brainchild. Okay. So um, they are the ones who created the system. They set down logo, everything. Me, I got I got first care already. You know. As, 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 as a little baby yes, and as, yes. as it is right now, you know. So I was like, okay, I'm just now incorporating my vision as well and which is the best thing about it is they're all going into power, they're all going yes. in one direction. So yeah. And you are you, you are actually playing a very important role there. And then uh, do you think maybe for for them to be able to create such a product, uh, what education maybe that should be given? As you said you are all for black excellence yes. and you know, we want to empower people from from disadvantaged yes. backgrounds, and what the you guys are doing now, it's, it's a great thing. So, how can we replicate more of this, maybe in our communities? Mm. In this regard, is it's more of not okay, education. Education is important, you know. You, I, I call I call high school your ABC education. Yes. You know, tertiary is not everyone is fortunate. Like I'm not, I wasn't fortunate to finish my my my, my business um, uh, management uh, degree, mm -hmm. right? So I for one I use Google. So once you are out there getting more information, knowing how to learn, and having to now put this into, into like put it to yourself. If you have an idea, it's, it's starting the mind, right? You put it down on paper, and then this way you do your pros and cons, right? Mm -hmm. You do research, 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 and there's one thing I've also realized that you'll never do, you'll never be successful anymore. You always need other team players, you know. So in in communities, that's where you identify that okay, Tepo, me and him have the same vision or have the same spirit. I talk to you, you like it, and then you come and now incorporate this. So this is basically all about pull pull. Wow, you know, what, what you're saying is very profound, and we're gonna start from there. So let us just take a break. And then we are still going to go into this powerful mind to know more about first care. This episode is proudly sponsored by your number one training and educational company, Trainers Without Borders. Trainers is known over all the African continent for its expertise. Contact us on 011-440-8901 or email us on info at trainerswithoutborders.co.za. Follow us on social media by clicking trainers without borders so my brother yeah you were saying some most interesting things uh, before we went to the break especially yeah. about working uh, in in partnership with other people yeah. so now the thing that i want to ask you now about first care coming from first care your journey so far yeah. with first care i mean you guys as a company yeah. has it been easy and if not what difficulties are you coming across trying to push such a product at such a time all right. Uh, basically, it's not been easy. Trust me, it's not a smooth sailing, you know. Uh, but with perseverance, you know, and persistence, we are we are about to get there. You know, we are there actually. It's just now finding. We are in the room. It's just now finding our seats, basically, you know. So um, the challenges that we are facing right now um, is having enough drivers to cater for now everybody who's going to be downloading. So if you're in PTA or if you're in Johannesburg, Soweto, wherever you are. We need now more drivers on the platform to register with us so that now uh, first cap as the application can be as uh, usable, you know, and cater to the um, to, to the zero need. Yes. You know, because right now we'll download it and find that okay, I'm in a uh, Rustin I can't find a driver, you know. So yes. right now it's all about us getting drivers onto on, on, onto the app registering with us. Even companies that have uh, that deal with logistics, if they have cars or vans. They can register the under his company. So, so that's that part is a, as an entrepreneur, I, I think that's when you need to, 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 to persist. Yeah. And you need to be strong. Yes. Even when you're not making big money. Nah. Not, right now we're not all about money. So we're yes. all about getting it out there. Yes. So you personally as a as an entrepreneur, yeah. from your experience with first care, yeah. what maybe are those things that stand out, the things that you have learned and that giving a platform? You'd like to share with other entrepreneurs. Um, what I've actually learned in this regard is networking and actually being a disciple of your own product. Wherever you go, you ask, you are preaching it. Whoever you talk to, you preach it to. You know, because you'll never know that 
the person the person that you look at and think mm, not not viable you know that person might know someone who can help you you know so what i do i sleep eat breathe i'm basically fast cap you know mm-hmm. even on my profiles on social media i'm changed it's all fast cap you know because i'm trying to get awareness out there i talk to people I let them know about fast cap. I've also actually in a point now have put uh, or rather put pause on what I'm doing on other things and focus solely on fast cap, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so having to network, networking is key with this. Yes. Don't be afraid to talk. Especially if you know and believe. People, yes, there are people who shut you down, people who tell you ah, tell them to waste of time. You know? Because they don't know or rather they don't see the vision. Mm-hmm. So once you see your vision, just be like a train, keep on going, nothing's going to stand in the way. Basically. So you spoke about focus, why is it important to focus? I know yeah. that there are people out there who say, I have many talents, yeah. I'm a jack of all trades. Yeah. And how, how do you identify that this is the thing that I must focus on and what is the importance of that, of being focused on, on a certain project or on a certain business? Um, focus, you know, there's one thing, um, and one close, 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 um, elderly friend of mine um, once told me, it was, it was simply like this. Simply, if my baby book is a trailer, me to walk us for a year again, it's cut as you want. So, yes, I'll enjoy that. And me, I'm thinking to myself, ah, in cook, ah, man, yes, I think the kitchen say one, he bam, being bambi, and then you're facing bamba, and then you say, but you know, this is how we do. So, Bambi, or any harm before you valet, we will land the NS2, harm before you valet, and it's three, and that's how we basically get things done. So, focus is now, it helps one over T. You don't, you, you, don't di- you, you don't divert, you know, you don't, you don't divert, you stick to one plan, you stick to one thing, and once that starts going, it starts running by itself, and once you are in a comfortable position to say, okay, everything's going now. You can then focus on something else because now this is running itself. Mm-hmm. It doesn't need to be babysitted anymore, you know? Mm-hmm. So focus is really, really important so that you just don't pick up here and there, here and there, here and there and try and mix them into one thing. Mm-hmm. You know, especially when something it's that's... like a baby when it's small. Yeah. yeah you it's... can't teach a child with a lot of things at once, you know? Yes. Step by step. And as a, as a mother, you must always be there. Constantly walking, for looking for out, the, yes. For, for the, for the yes. Thing. No, that is, that is very amazing. So now, uh, you you may be personal, you personal, uh, the business, as you, as, as, you, as you have said that here in Joburg you are, you, are, you, are, you are trying to establish the business and you spoke yes. a lot about networking. Yeah? Yes. So now, as I believe that your company is 100% black yes, yes. and Samachi does work, and you know, maybe we are using it to doing things a certain way. Yeah. So, Concerning first care, especially your marketing and all of that, yes. I want you to speak about professionalism. Yes. Yeah, how, how, how much is professionalism important to you? Uh, with whatever resource that you have, whether it's yes. much or little, how are you trying to be as professional as possible? And why do you think it's important for us, especially for small black businesses, yes. to, to, to apply professionalism at all times? Um. Firstly, I have my own, I have my own uh, definition of professionalism. Eh? Yes, Firstly, once you are yourself, and once you're comfortable with yourself as an entrepreneur and as a person, then that's where you are able to conduct yourself accordingly. You know, and professionalism is important because this way you have strict standards, strict rules to how you do things. And those things is, if I say, um, Okay, we, we, okay, we okay, time, I can say timekeeping, right? But timekeeping is important, but as long as there's communication, you know, to why am I late? I'm going running late. And like, we have a meeting now and I just woke up 30 minutes and I'm like, ah, ish, we came, you know? Yes. But I have to tell you, while things are happening, that's where it being now, I'm being professional because I'm letting yes. you know that I am now. There's that in, communication. Yeah, there must be communication. Yes. So, professionalism um, is very important, especially with black businesses, because the small ones, because once we go to people who are established and you start now acting a different way or you start talking a different way, some other people expect you to be on point, you know? So once you are established to talk to a person and let them know, even ask, you know, asking, can I, can I be able to, to address you like this? Wow. Can I be able to talk to you like this? Yeah, I love that. That's when we, we meet. must respect ourselves so that others respect Basically. us. Basically. My brother, thank you very much. 
Yeah. This was Thank an amazing you. interview, and, uh, and I'm sure that our friends at home will learn a lot. Yeah. So thank you very much for tuning in again to CTVSA, to African Brands, and we'll meet you next time as we bring you more amazing and profound African brands. See you next time.